Pisces. I hope that you're all doing great. I send you guys much love and light and just want to say thank you for being back here with me. This is your love reading for September. Let's take a look and see what's coming in for your love life, Pisces. If you're new to my channel, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Lynn and this is Passion Heart Tarot. Let's just jump right in, Pisces. Before I do, I just want to take a moment to the white light of this there into the reading. Pisces, let's see what is coming in for you guys for September. How is your love life looking in September? So Gemini and Aquarius energy is coming through. You guys might have that moon or rising or you might even be dealing with a Gemini or Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising. It's important for you to know that even if for some reason you guys are disappointed by your love life, you might even feel like you're going through this now. I wonder if you guys are on the verge of breaking up with someone or just like not really knowing where you stand. And I know that some of you are just really tired of feeling like you have to compete when it comes to this person. Either compete for their time, their attention, or for some of you, it's even with romantic competition that's here. I see a huge like awakening Maybe even looking at yourself and, and seeing how this person's energy has affected you. And you know what? Once you do that, it's important for you to know that there's like these blessings in disguise that are here, Pisces. Because as one relationship ends, another, it's like closing that door allows something very beautiful to come in for you. You guys have a romantic offer that's coming your way and like this person is sweet kind devoted they have an open heart they know exactly what it is that they're looking for so this is not a person who's bringing any negativity into your life they're bringing like love and light and positivity it's like as one door closes another one immediately opens it's like as soon as you decide to be more honest with yourself as soon as you decide that you don't want to hurt anymore that you don't want uh, to be suppressed the way that you are because i know where some of you are starting to realize how disappointed you are with this person's energy um, because i know where you feel like it was meant to be so much more than it is and i do know at one point in time you did feel incredibly close to this person but like as time has gone on there's been a lot of changes here and i just see where you're gonna open up and see it because you're tired of i mean if you look at that two of swords those swords that that person is holding up they're heavy it's spirit letting us know um, how much tension is around you that you may not even realize just yet is there i know some of you are like on the verge of walking away because you're tired of it it's it's a lot of work and energy to always have to be like one step ahead to be one step ahead to prevent yourself from getting hurt by this person again and I can just see where you're gonna open your eyes. That blindfold is coming off. You're gonna you're gonna want your heart to be open again so it can heal. You don't wanna be in this place where you have to be so guarded and so protective all the time. I have to be honest with you and tell you that I do see things coming to an end with someone. That's just what it is. But I also know for many of you, you already know this. And it's something that you've, it's just been lingering, lingering, like clinging on, maybe even by a thread. 
as soon as you cut that cord, something very special is coming in. I know that a lot of you are afraid to cut it because you feel like this is supposed to be your person and you don't wanna do the wrong thing and you don't know what lies ahead. I have to tell you that, I mean, a romantic offer, and this is someone who's healthy, um, I, of course, very physically attractive, healthy, energetic, someone who can like keep up with you and what they're looking for is a relationship. This is someone who has every intention on when they find that person, they're going to settle down with them. So even though you may not know what lies ahead and you could be afraid to sever these ties, I know where some of you are just so tired of it that naturally it's going to end, end up this way. It's going to end up that you actually part ways with this person. Because, I mean, you can't keep holding on to all of that tension. It's too much for you to carry. So I know that some of you are going to let it go. Others of you still might be afraid because you don't know, you know, if you leave one thing behind, what else is out there for you? And it's something that's better than what you have now. I don't say that to put your relationship down with this person, but it's, I can see how disappointing it is and I can see how unhealthy it is. And I can also see how this was like a season. This is not something that was meant to be permanent. This is something that's like a stepping stone to another direction. Yes, you've had beautiful experiences with them and that's what you should take with you as you move forward. And also take the bad with it as well and learn from it. Maybe it helps you put up different uh, standards, boundaries for yourself, Pisces. And maybe it helps you empathize, seeing things that you would never do to another person, what was done to you. So I see a lot of reflecting, a lot of emotions, a lot of realization as we move forward into September. Um, and as you work through all of that, don't be surprised when you are out there and you're catching the eye of someone. Because this is energy, it, this is a night, it's, it's moving fast, it's coming your way. It's here. And I wonder if that's going to cross over into what you have now. And this is actually going to persuade you because I do see where that's a possibility for some of you meeting someone, um, talking to them because things are really rocky here. But you know that they're already done here. And then I think that it might even cross for some of you. Not that you're going to like cheat, but it's more emotionally this person's going to be able to pull you away from this place. I just see where there's so much disappointment that's here. Because it's realizing that it it's really not what you thought it was. And that's when you make the choice. I see you guys making the choice to feel better. Maybe even put yourself first. Because it's just too much tension to keep holding on to. You know how you would treat someone and how you want to put them first. That's what you have coming in for you. Because I just see where it's been a struggle. Always feeling like other things were ahead of you in this connection. All right, Pisces. Very important for you to know that there is like this very romantic, sincere mature person who's coming your way and their intentions are to settle down so you're gonna have that opportunity all right i'm gonna look at this two of swords It's not going to be easy, and I see the same energy repeating two of swords in reverse. It's not going to be easy, but I also know that you have relief that's coming in once you finally choose to put yourself first and not be so wrapped up in um what it could have been. I see I see when that blindfold comes off and you realize the truth about the connection and just how much has disappointed you and how far apart you've grown from this person, it is going to hurt. But you also have this energy of someone that's coming in to help relieve you, to help 
mend your heart. So I would say when this person walks into your life, I would embrace them because I know it. they're like a godsend to you. It's like your pain is calling out to this person. And they're coming into your life to help you recover, heal, feel better. And it's someone that you, if you let yourself, you could end up having, having a very beautiful relationship with them, connection with them. Because that is what they want. You guys might even bond over your experiences. You you I I don't take it lightly cuz I I see the pain and I see the disappointment but I also see the relief and I also know that for many of you here you already know that it's at that point where it's time to let it go and I just see you letting go of things this month Pisces but just know that when you do the you have just a beautiful romantic offer of someone who's not like this person it's going to be different energy than you've dealt with someone who's so sure of themselves someone who's in a position in life where they have everything together so they can offer it to someone this person is going to help to raise your vibration out of this dark and disappointed place you'll see how independent they are and you'll see how open-hearted they are. And they're gonna treat you in a way that you haven't been treated in a long time. Make you feel special, make you feel like a priority. So I know that some of you are going through a lot right now, just know that it is gonna get better. You're gonna feel what it is that you are meant to feel because you're on your own path. As you sever the ties, here something beautiful is coming in for you all right pisces i want to take a look at these energies it's like that's the most important thing to keep in mind because this is the overall energy and it's a romantic love offer from a very healthy person that's coming your way so it's like i see the struggles and i see where you're in like this lower vibration like you're very deep in this energy and you have someone here that's going to help to pull you out of it. All right. So I hope that you will embrace them. I hope that you'll let them because truly like that is why they're coming in for you. That's what it is. And it's something that has a lot of potential to it. Because you guys are going to bond over your experiences. And I, I just know where, you know, with this Five of Pentacles in reverse, I know that it's someone who's um, meant to help lift you out of this dark place, out of this low vibration. And it's going to be someone that makes you feel very understood. So that lets me know that the conversations that you guys have are going to be incredible and it's going to strengthen your bond and your connection, just feeling like you have someone that you can open up to, that embraces you, that accepts you, and that doesn't judge you. This is like a wish because it's, it's um, your soul that's calling out and needs this kind of help. So the divine is answering you. So embrace it. When it comes your way, embrace this connection. Embrace who this person is. Whoever this is that wants to help you and be there for you and listen to you, their energy is very sincere. You can trust this person. So just know, Pisces, that a lot of positivity is coming your way after the heartache that you you could be dealing with now. Um, you have a special connection a very blessed connection. It's because it's what you deserve, what you need after everything that you've gone through. Okay, Pisces. So that's what I can see for you guys. I send you all much love and light and positivity. Please remember to, you know, just try to keep your head up and know that everything's going to be okay. Everything that you've gone through in the past is, is what's aligning you to receive such positive energy in your life 
um, in September. All right, you guys, thank you for everything. If you are new here and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do guys like the video, comment. I send you all much love and light and I'll talk to you in a few days.